In this video, we will introduce you to the concept of process modeling and its significance in additive manufacturing. Before coming to the main topic, let me introduce us. We are David, Mandana, Ambrosia and Juliana, a group of postgraduate students from the top-notch European institutions. If you didn't get a chance to watch our first video on topology optimization, don't worry. Here is the link. Just a reminiscence about PAM Scare, this is a Marie Skodowska Curie Innovative Training Network which is funded by the European Union under Horizon 2020 program. PAM Scare aims to improve the precision of metal additive manufactured processes by focusing on robustness, predictability, metrology and developing computer-aided engineering methods to empower the AM design. As a refresh, Additive manufacturing is a family of manufacturing processes where the parts are 3D printed from CAD files, layer by layer. The PAMScare project is focused on the additive manufacturing of metal parts, mainly selective laser melting. In this process, a laser source melts one layer of powdered material at a time to build up the part. Let's have a close look on how does the building process look like. In this short video, you can see the energy beam scanning and melting layers of material to achieve the desired shape. During this phase, many occurrences take place. One of the most important is the heat transfer from the beam to the part. Because of the complexity of the process, many different defects can be generated. In many cases, these defects mean that the part produced cannot be used for its purpose. Some are obvious since the part does not show the desired shape. However, in some cases, the right shape is achieved and even though the quality of the part is not considered high enough for its application. Here we present you some examples of defects observed in additive manufactured parts. The first one is called burning. It occurs when the material is heated too much and ends up presenting a burned part on its final geometry. Warping is a distortion effect that occurs due to material shrinkage when it is cooling down while delamination is the separation of successive layers. In some applications, a high quality of the surface is required. The additive manufacturing has some issues like the presence of stair steps between layers or remaining powder on the surface. Additive manufactured parts can also present voids, which is basically the absence of material. They can occur between layers or along the solidified part. A material microstructure is what defines the part's properties. Micro defects are observed on the material microstructure with the aid of a microscope. To try to avoid these effects, it is essential to select the right process parameters. For that, it is important to have a great understanding of the phenomena happening during the process. During an additive manufacturing process, a highly energetic laser beam hits the powder, scanning it. The material is heated to a very high temperature and melted afterwards. In the picture on the left, different colors correspond to different temperatures and you can see that the material experiences an extreme temperature gradient because of the great differences of temperature in a very short distance. This phenomena generates very complex microstructures for the particular environment in which the grains form, as you can see in the animation. The material's microstructure is very important to define since it will determine the behavior of the material itself. And this is the reason why it's so important to define a process modeling. The modeling of the process allows to predict the properties of parts produced by the metal additive manufacturing process. And this is extremely useful in order to eliminate the need of long and expensive sequence of trial and error and understand immediately what should be the right approach to obtain the best part for the intended application. Here we present a case study in which we apply the process modeling. The part intended to be molded is a simple mold used for injection molding. The process starts from the plastic granular melted and injected in a mold, producing the final parts of the same shape of the cavity as depicted on the right side. The mold is idealized as a cube with a cavity in the middle. We have simulated the temperature that is increased inside the SLM machine during manufacturing. Here, the results from the simulations are shown. 
The part starts at a temperature of 300 Kelvin, which is about 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. As the laser passes over the part, it gets heated up over and over again. Since it cannot remove all the heat, the temperature increases to about 330 Kelvin. If you like this video, please do share it and thanks for watching.